What to do when your ex goes into a rebound relationship. Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about what to do when your ex goes straight into a new relationship after uh, you two have broken up. So they are in a rebound relationship. So there is a quote by Marcus Aurelius that I really love. And that is, the best revenge is to not be like your enemy. So when people break up sometimes, and actually this is a lot more often than not, um, one person goes straight into a new relationship within like a matter of weeks, sometimes even days. And the person who isn't in that rebound relationship, so you, for example, if you found this video and searched it up, you're wondering what to do. And the worst thing that you could do is actually do the same thing that they have done. The worst thing that you can do is to falsely believe that, oh no, they've got into a new relationship. Now I have to compete and also be in a new relationship as well. And this is what a lot of people do. They think, oh, because my ex is now in a relationship, I now have to quickly race and get myself into a relationship as well. So you're kind of on the same level. But what you need to understand is that rebound relationships rarely work. So the relationship that your ex is now in is probably not going to work out. And they're probably going to make a bit of a fool of themselves doing so. Um, so I know this from, you know, experience, you know, after a breakup that I had, like with the first major relationship I was in, I started dating new people straight away. And they were people that were really not that good for me, people that were like way below what I personally thought my own standards were as well. And basically I made a bit of an idiot out of myself just because I um, was so stressed out by the fact that my ex had gone straight into a new relationship. So you need to get this kind of competition out of your head. You need to you know, completely remove that kind of thing. You don't need to match and mirror what they are doing. Um, so the best thing for you to do then is to actually stay single, to not jump straight into a new relationship, to not start dating people immediately, take time to heal, take time to reflect. And the reason why this is important is because um, if you go into a new relationship in the future, you'll be in a lot more of a healthier mindset. But your ex, the person who has just jumped straight into a relationship after an old one has ended within like a matter of weeks or days, they are bringing all of that bad baggage, all of that bad negativity, all those bad raw emotions. Because when you break up with someone, you know, it takes a while to kind of get over it. It takes a while to get over those bad patterns. It takes a while to get over um, the, the toxic energy that was around that. Because obviously if you broke up, there was probably a lot of arguing, there was probably a lot of upset. They are dragging all of that emotion straight into a new relationship. And that's why rebound relationships rarely work. If you're enjoying this video so far, then please leave a like on it and please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if there's something you would like me to discuss in a future video, then please leave it down in the comments or if you have any tips and advice yourself. So just because they are posting on social media that they're with their new person, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're happy and they have a healthy connection, a healthy relationship. No doubt within a few months, or maybe they stay together and it's a few years down the line, that relationship will end because it's not based on, it doesn't have a healthy foundation. So even if they do stay together, it won't be a healthy, happy relationship. So you want to do the opposite. You want to stay single. You want to take time to heal. You want to take time to reflect. You want to take time to spend more time with your friends because obviously if you was in a relationship, you probably had less time on your hands. So now you have more time on your hands so you can spend it with, you know, you know recreating those connections with your friends, um, working on other things that you want to do. Perhaps you want to lose weight. You want to look good. Perhaps you want to start a side business or work more on your hobbies. You know, you have all this free time to start diving into to those things. Uh, perhaps you want to read more books, things like that. So you now have like this time that you can, you know, heal and reflect and learn from the mistakes you have made and um, learn from, you know, basically that relationship. So when you go into a new relationship, you are not dragging with you all of that kind of bad mojo, that bad energy that was in that relationship, which is exactly what your ex has done. They are bringing all of that baggage into that new relationship. And there's only one way it can go, and that is 
to a, <laughs> a grinding halt at some point. So you don't want to be like them at all. So you definitely don't want to kind of um, think, oh wow, they've got into a relationship. So that means I have to kind of race and get myself into one as well because I don't want them to beat me. But actually the best way to beat them, the best way to get your revenge, as Marcus Aurelius would say, is to not be like your enemy and to do the exact opposite. Take time to heal and not be like them. Let them be destructive in this new relationship because no doubt that's what it's going to be like because they haven't got over the old relationship um, and they're bringing all of that bad baggage into it. So it's going to be a really toxic relationship or at least not a very happy one. And obviously you want to be in a very happy relationship. You want to be in a healthy relationship. And the best way you can do that is to take some time to reflect, take some time to heal, work on some other things and uh, enjoy your life and stop worrying so much about getting straight into a new relationship just because that's what your ex has done. So the idea is when you break up with someone, this basically opens up a new window of time for you to work on other things, um, to figure out what your passions are, to perhaps maybe start a side business, um, to you know work on those things that perhaps you've been procrastinating on or haven't had enough time to do because of your previous relationship. So it's now time for you to start uh, designing a lifestyle that you're really, really happy with um, and a life that you can be proud of. And if you're unsure of what to do, what the first steps could be, if you're unsure of what you, know, you should be doing, if you're not sure about your passions and things like that, then I highly recommend you go and watch this video on how to find your passion in under 20 minutes. So you can start working on things that you really truly care about and that bring meaning into your life. So obviously when I say do things that you enjoy, you know, work on things that you are really proud of, um, I don't mean um, doing things that are more like instant gratification based. So and what I mean by this is often when people have a breakup, they start to do things that are very instant gratification, very much indulging into like the bad side of themselves, um, basically overindulgence in like things like alcohol, food, um, uh, basically going a bit wild, so obviously you don't want to do any of that because that's not going to make you feel good in the long run because obviously instant gratification is something that feels good in the moment but will probably make you feel guilty later on and we've all had like days like that or weekends like that where we really wanted to get on with a lot of things and then we procrastinated didn't do a lot in fact we gave into instant gratification we just binged TV shows or we went out partying and we ate too much food and then we instantly regret like a few days later for wasting that precious time on stuff that wasn't even good for us to begin with. So obviously you, you want to be avoiding things like that. You want to be doing things that are in fact good for you. So this could be exercise, working on your hobbies, spending genuinely good time with friends, not just partying and um, basically doing stuff to destroy your body. You want to be doing things that are really, really good for you because that will help you heal. That will help you heal. You know, there is a connection between the body and the mind. So when you go through like some kind of horrible experience like a breakup, literally the worst thing you can do is start damaging yourself by overindulgence in food, alcohol, all those kinds of things. You want to be overindulging in things that are really truly nourishing for you. So that means, you know, spending good quality time with your friends and family, working on your hobbies and interests. So for example, perhaps you are a musician or an artist, you know, you want to be diving into those things, those things that are really, really important to you, that kind of feel that fill your soul, basically. You wanna be working on those kinds of things because um, those are the things that are ultimately gonna bring you the most joy and the most happiness, not the instant gratification things um, and uh, wasting your time, basically. You wanna be using your time wisely with things that make you feel good about yourself, not things that make you feel guilty and ashamed about yourself. Now, obviously it doesn't matter if you you know do things like that now and again, but just make sure that you're not doing it a lot because a lot of people do those kinds of things a lot after they've had a breakup and ultimately it makes them feel worse about themselves. And obviously you don't wanna feel worse about yourself, you wanna feel better about yourself. So don't dive into those indulgences. If you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye guys.